trip around Australia. <coughs> Beautiful morning. Thank goodness for that. Bike is loaded and ready to go. Fair bit of stuff there, but still it's smaller than a pillion passenger. Smaller in weight, not in size. Here we go. Well, good morning everyone. 2024 July Lap of Oz So I'm going up towards uh, Wooden Bong and then I'll meet Mark up there and then we'll c keep on going to Warwick and then then up up to the tip right oh bike feels amazing I got me heated gloves on this morning. Haven't got them turned on yet. It's not real cold. Oh, 13 degrees. It's cool enough, but it's not cold. What a beautiful day. It's been raining, raining, raining. And today, it's just turned it on for us. Actually, it was snowing yesterday. Up at Stanthorpe and fuel. And then, I'm on my way. Turn the heated gloves on. Got new tyres on the bike, that's what they look like. And Steve raised the front guard. So, and Steve reckons that's why I cracked my front guard. I had a cracked front guard, and he reckons it was from a rock going in there, which is a total fail. So, he raised that because I will be doing a fair bit of dirt on this trip. Shout out to me, uh, my dentist down here. He rides bikes, but the ones without motors. And that's just too hard for me. Richard, hello and goodbye. See you when I get back. All right, some fuel, and then uh, off we go. Ready to go, just waiting on Mark, and guess what, here he is. What a beast, he's probably right in front of him. I bet he's told us bloody 10 degrees. And the wind chill factor is bloody just Hello, Mark. Alrighty, here we are going through Warwick. The weather's turned evil. It was raining a little bit earlier on. Mark's in front. Yep, there he is saying hello to us all. So we're off to Tarum, which is 400 k's. Should make that by tonight, hopefully. Good morning everyone, just starting the bikes now, it is early and listen to this, it's like a bloody volcano, poor bugger's in that cabin there, oh, woke her up and the dog, so this is where we camped last night in this donga, not too bad, so when we got here, turned the air conditioner on, it didn't work, so I rang her up and she said, use that fan over there. I said right up, so that was going all night, not too bad, so this is Tarum, Tarum in Queensland, so we'll go downtown get some fuel, good morning, welcome back everybody, here we are on this road, just out of uh, Tarum, yes, we decided to go this way because it was quicker, instead of going up through Banana, we thought we'd go this way, and we've hit dirt, it's been uh, as soon as I started recording it started to get good but back there it was pretty average so this is the road up to Rolston and we've got 100 k's or 92 k's left now yeah and this is what happens Mark was just saying these roads because they're so soft when it gets wet the trucks or cars go on them and then it sets like like that like clay 
Alrighty, so that was the education. Two dollars sixty-nine a litre for ninety-one fuel. That's really like that's Birdsville prices. Um, one hundred and seventy for a donga, or twenty-five for an unpowered side. So, us being the scabs, we're going to get an unpowered side. We did want another donga only because we could get away early in the morning. But hey, whatever. non-powered sides, my god I think I might be riding my motorbike to T oh this is nice down here, gonna be bloody cold but my goodness me might have to get some firewood and light a fire, it's a shame we're a bit late because we've only got to be an half an hour of light someone's coming here in the wet and bloody got bobbed. Mark's deciding, I'm deciding. Yep. Alrighty, this is Palmer River Roadhouse. Top little spots. Mark and I stopped here before. So we're not going to get fuel here. There's a place just up the road called Lakeland. And we'll get fuel there. Then we'll go to um, Laura tonight for a camp spot there. And, and then uh, tomorrow it's uh, the adventure up to the tip. Alright, so here we go, Laura Cole and Weeper. Everything's open, caution to Weeper, we ain't going to Weeper. Not this time. Alright, uh, here we go. Oh wait, and here's a sign up here, 80k's to Weeper. This will give you a better in indicator to Laura. 80 Musgraves, 200, or 60 to Laura. 200 to Musgrave. Welcome back. Oh, pub reopened, hot food, cold beer and camping. Well, that could be us. Did not know that was there. Wiki Camps didn't tell me about that one, Mark. So we'll go and assess. All right, here we are at Harm River. Turn, yep, turn right there, Marky Mark. So we decided to come here because the other place just didn't do it for us. So we're going to get some fuel. 235 that's not a bad price actually. We paid $2.70 for 91 the other day. Here's Mark. He's got a bit of dust in his eyes. He's been following me. So we'll get some fuel, go in, book a campsite and set up and go from there. Alright, this is Han River, $15 a site. Food and alcohol and whatnot over there. Closes at 7.30. Um, toilets and showers, washing machines up there. Play area. Probably not going to use that, but it's an option for later. Road report is the road's pretty bad between... Musgrave and Cohen and then gets bad near Weeper again but is what it is, whatever so oh, there's a couple of little sites there yep and that suits us real nice, just there, beautiful yep alright not much sun on our tents but uh, whatever Good morning. 
morning to you. About 7.30 and we are off. So mixed reports about the road, most of them are bad, <laughs> but that doesn't really mean too much. So, a little bit of tar, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of water crossings, and uh, yeah, see how we go. Great night sleep in there last night. Had a breakfast and had a great tea there last night. Really, really good spot, this Han River Roadhouse. And I just bypassed it last time because went in to get a coffee on the way up and uh, and uh, it was seven dollars for medium and that was three years ago and I thought no nah, ain't paying that I ain't staying here so uh, maybe I should because it's a pretty good place Cohen 108 so they say they are the people that we spoke to last night say this is the worst bit of road to the Cape from here to Cohen big rock at the beginning there alrighty so this is what the roads like from Musgrove to Cohen it's oh it's really bad it's good it's bad it's all over the shop corrugated dusty oh man good riding but shaking the shit out of the bike my god that's probably the worst it's been for a while and then you get a good stretch like this but it doesn't last long oh look at this here dearie me to the left there of mark at the center yep so because Mark's behind me and it's dusty, he can't see diddly squat, so I'm just telling him where to ride. On the corner there, there's a couple of big rocks sticking out of the road. So, seen us, if you haven't got them, get them, or something similar, especially when you're gonna do something like this. So, we, ooh, so good. There's a bit of a bulldust hole on that corner too. And then they throw some tar in just to bloody keep you happy. Man. <laughs> that was a bit savage that boy oh boy Woo. but what a beautiful day 17 degrees oh no it's not it's 21 degrees now bloody hell peoples here we are at Cohen not sure where to go because I've never been here here we are in Cohen nice little place and the pub here is called Exchange Hotel. Alright, so we're just leaving Cohen and we're on our way to Archer River Roadhouse now, so it's not that far up the road. <coughs> 40, 60, 60, 60 k's. No, oh, they go 65. Yep, that was good enough. That was easy. All right, well, that's right around the outside on the gravel, yeah. So this is Archer River, peoples. We need fuel. Bloody nice looking bowsers. We'll head up to uh, Bramwell now and first casualty of the trip my chain guard snapped completely off my swing arm so the only way we could get it off was to cut it off because the screw um, couldn't get to the screw to undo it because of the uh, back um, foot pegs so I just cut it off don't really care, whatever. It's not the end of the world. Bunch of River Roadhouse there. Check out this bridge they're putting in here. This is a monster. It is a big construction. 
Boah. Well, if you're not impressed, you should be, because that's some bloody bridge. Yeah, in his day it would have been a dirty old crossing that we would have had to cross, but not anymore. Wow, that's crazy. And that's the, um, the girders or whatever you want to call them that we were following them trucks. Piling things, yeah. Beautiful little river. Wow. Alrighty. They've been burning off all the way from Han River, really. So that's the way to the tip, to the right there, and we'll go into Bramwell Junction Roadhouse, and we definitely deserve a um, drink. And there's the iconic sign mark straight ahead, Telegraph Track. You know, I've seen that on YouTube, and I always thought that you went that way. No, no, can't you see that sign straight ahead? There, yeah, look, old telegraph track. So that's the road you take for the telly. Yeah. So every video I've ever watched with YouTube is all you see is this sign here behind me. The old telegraph track. And I thought you go down that and you turn off where well, you don't. That's the old telly track. And to go the Peninsula Development Road, you go out there and you go out that way. So up beside Bramwell Roadhouse here. We're going to camp right here, I think. Here at the Bramwell Junction Roadhouse. I just had a look in the back rim. Check this out. Fair bit of dust. How cool is that? Very dirty. Good morning everybody so this is the last leg to the cape <coughs> like i said yes the telegraph tracks or the old telegraph tracks are in the back there that's the road we come in on and that's the road we're going up on that's the peniche development road so we camped over there last night food here everything is really expensive but they've got to get it here so i, I get that but yeah very very expensive 15 dollars for a can of rum is the record Alrighty. first ones to leave not that it's a race but we will not be getting anyone's dust that's for sure which is awesome it's uh, 7 30 on the dot so that's great riding into the sun's not much fun but anyway that'll only be for a little while All right, here we are at the ja Jardine River Ferry. So we'll park here and we'll go in and get a ticket to go across. That was the worst bit of road I've traveled since bloody forever. Bloody nightmare. It was corrugated bulldust. It was really bad, but whatever. No fuel here. I think that's quite a common occurrence. Maybe the bowels don't work anymore, but anyway, you ready for this? $60 each 
for 20 metre ride on a ferry. Is that insane or what? $60 each, $120. Bucks. I'm assuming that's return. I'm bloody hoping it's return. Well, this is dodgy getting on this. My God. <laughs> oh man, how dodgy is this? It just feels dodgy. Now this Jardine River, it's the only way you can get across and it's full of crocodiles. Right, uh, $120 return. That's insane. So that's Bemiga. Yeah, Bemiga of BP. And now we turn I'll just yeah the tip the tip right up so we're just going to go to the tip just the tip the signage up here is pretty poor yeah we actually missed the turn off because there was no sign that said to the tip or whatever back on um, the PDR but anyway whatever no one listens to me so we've got a few k's to go and then we'll be at the tip <laughs> the road must be pretty bad it's an hour to do 27 k's the road has been the worst has been all the way from bloody Cairns of Tully this is the worst bit of road around the tip Bamiga I think my theory is you're up here they don't give a shit holy hell you can see what it's doing to the bike and that that's the slowest I've been on the whole trip holy godfather that's really bad yeah so there's a croc tent peeps we're gonna call in there on the way back uh, Punsham Bay that way and the tip just the tip is this way 15 k's and let's just hope that it's 15 k's of reasonable tar well it's not tar marky mark look at that bang dirt already all right well this is the road on the way to the tip and we're about 10 k's it's just turned into a bloody beautiful road gorgeous not real wide <laughs> no you would assume you take a caravan off and, and come up here without it yeah alrighty so we're about 5k's from the top and we come across this little creek crossing thingy here and I just saw a four wheel drive go through there and it is really deep like really deep <laughs> And we're so close, we're so, so friggin' close. There's a a road off there to the right, Mark. I think the bikes go through there. But I'm going to have to walk it to see. So it's a sandy bottom, doesn't look too bad. We're going to weave our way through it. I'll go first. So I walked it, and through here, it's not too bad. It's a little bit deepish and that's not too bad at all. I'll stop up here and get Mark coming through that. Just wait a second. That's quite easy, the sand. It's a nice sandy bottom. Not real deep, it's only, it's nothing really. And we were worried. We thought, no, we're not getting through. We're not getting through. What are we going to do? We're going to have to hitchhike to the top. But yeah, no, all good. Hot old central here, bloody hell. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, check this out. Muddy, sloshy. Lucky we've got good tyres on. Huh? Alright, guys, we're at the tip of Australia. Oh, they've got toilets here, that's nice of them. 
So a bit of a walk down the beach and up a few rocks and Nice, I'll put a sticker on that right here. This is what it's like. the 25 minute trip up there and over and down and around to the other side and um, we're back now and we're going to uh, the croc tent get some supplies and then loyalty beach hopefully beautiful spot very windy but it's always windy here well you look at everyone's youtube videos it's always windy right uh, so the bikes are doing well the road in here was atrocious, probably the worst road that I've ever travelled. Pretty bloody bad. Two thousand nine hundred and eighty Ks I've done from Kyogle to the tip. Oh flog. That was a bit a slippery there. At the croc tent, get some merch. Sixty-five dollars a shirt, probably cost them about seven dollars. But that's tourism; they got to make their money. Right. Just coming into Bamiga. Oh my God! Look at the fuel. They ain't ever going to run out of fuel. Loyalty Beach is this way. Um, this way, mark to the left. This is Loyalty Beach. I believe it's fifteen or seventeen dollars a camp spot. Uh, kiosk is over here, so I'm assuming we book in over here. Right on the water. Booking office. This is us. Oh wow, and you can camp anywhere. Loyalty Beach, up the Cape, you can camp anywhere here whatsoever. Well, they think they're cabins, them two things there. And they only do, do night meals, which are up there. And we're under these trees. Pretty cool. They've got a kiosk down there, but they only sell cold drinks and stuff. No light food. It's a pretty good place.